Morris, what's up? Just doing final prep for the big party tonight. You are going to be there, right? I'm supposed to join this live video chat with my TSC friends, and it's always fun catching up with them. Scott, as your friend, I cannot in good conscience allow you to miss this party. So, the minute that live chat ends... <laughs> then I'll leave for the party, but I still need to clear it with my parents. Then it's a done deal. Your folks totally love me. By the way, can you bring some chips? I have like 20 jars of salsa and no chips. I can do that. Later, friend. Later. Hey, Mom! Dad! Where are you? We're in the kitchen! And no shouting in the house! <laughs> Sorry, Mom! Hey, can I go to a party at Morris's house? And yes, his parents are going to be there the whole time. Well, I guess it's alright. We're gonna pick you up no later than 11 p.m. And I want you to eat dinner before you go. I don't want you filling up on junk food. I know how Morris loves his chips and salsa. You guys are letting Scott go to Morris's party? If Scott gets to go, then I should get to go too. That seems reasonable to me, Deb. In fact, I'll even give you guys a ride if you promise not to get into too much trouble. Just make sure you and your brother come back in one piece, okay? I will, Daddy. I promise. Hey, Adrian, guess who's going to Morris's party tonight? Yes, I know you could hear everything. It was a rhetorical question. By the way, Scott, I got this email today from a TSC patient organization. Seems like it's for you. Do you want me to read it with you? No, I'm good. It's probably just a reminder about some event or something like that. Okay, um, dear Mr. Shepard, we would like to, um, thank you for your service to the TSC community and invite you to speak about your experiences at, at the TSC con conference at the end of the year. Whoa. Oh my goodness, Scott, this is wonderful! Congratulations, son! This is the same conference we took you to when you were a little boy. Do you remember? <laughs> yeah, it was amazing. I'd never seen so many people with TSC in one place before. But why do they want me to come speak? I'm not a scientist or a doctor. Why would anyone want to hear what I have to say? And what if I can't memorize my speech or, or get turned around when I'm reading it? What if I mess it up in front of everybody? Scott, you've lived with TSC every day of your life. You know the disease inside and out, and you've learned how to cope with it. And you've done a great job helping others learn how to do the same. As for memorizing a speech and talking in front of a crowd, well, you've already overcome much bigger challenges than that. You were only a few months old when the spasm started. We were terrified. We didn't know what was happening or why. Your pediatrician diagnosed you with a type of seizure called infantile spasms and referred us to a neurologist. The neurologist reaffirmed the diagnosis, but he wanted to run an MRI just to be sure. And the MRI found tubers and nodules in your brain. They also found white spots called hypomelanotic macules on your skin. Combined with the brain tumors, those were enough symptoms to confirm a diagnosis of tuberous sclerosis complex. They also explained that the infantile spasm seizures were connected to this diagnosis. We'd never even heard of TSC before, and when the doctors told us the disease was genetic, we just felt so scared, because we didn't know who else in the family might have TSC. But no one else in our family has TSC. I got mine from a, um, um, random genetic mutation. We know that now, Scott, but we didn't know it then. Not until the people at the TSC clinic began teaching us about the disease. Then we got terrified all over again, when we learned there were so many symptoms and that every TSC case expresses itself differently. We didn't know what to expect. We just knew it would be a difficult road for all of us. Thankfully, we didn't have to travel it all by ourselves. Doctors and nurses helped a lot, and we even met a few other parents. Today, though, there's an amazing TSC support network. The one thing everyone recommended was that we get you a friend that could always be right there at your side through thick and thin. You, you mean Turbo? So this is, like, his secret origin? Pretty much. The two of you were positively inseparable. You took him everywhere. The playground, Grandma's house, the bathtub. Mom! Well, it's true. The point is that Turbo was always there when you needed him. When kids at school didn't understand what you were going through or you had trouble reading, Turbo was there. When you got so anxious about doctor visits, and you had so many, especially in the early years, Turbo always managed to keep you calm. Do you guys still have all those fake fleep 
Powder prescriptions Dr. K would write for Turbo? Of course. I would never let prime scrapbook material like that go to waste. But eventually, you stop needing to bring Turbo along to your appointments. And by the time the doctors found renal angiomyelopomas in your kidneys, you were even asking some questions about your care. Sure, I asked a lot of questions, but you guys were still there backing me up. And we always will be, because you'll always be our little boy. And we couldn't be prouder of the responsible young man you've become. You've become responsible for staying on top of your treatment and monitoring your disease with your physicians. Not to mention the peer support you do online. So don't think for one second that you don't belong at that conference. But this has to be your decision. Just know that whatever decision you make, we'll stand behind you 100%. Well, if I am going to do this, then I had better start working on my speech. That's my boy. And I guess we'd better start looking into flights and hotels. Hey, Dad, can we pick up Adrian on our way to Morris's party? And Scott, aren't you supposed to be doing that group chat thing? I thought it started like five minutes ago. Please don't let me be late. Please don't let me be late. Please don't let me be late. And I am definitely late. Great chatting with everybody. See you soon. Always so fun to chat with my TSC friends. Maybe I actually can pull off this speech. Speaking of the speech, you know you're going to be in it, right, Turbo? You were there with me in the beginning, so it's only right that you be there with me now, too. So, what do you say, old friend? You up for getting the band back together again? I'll take that as a yes. Are you done yet? Can we go to the party now? I'm coming! No yelling in the house, you two! Sorry, Sorry Mom! Mom. I, I have to go right now, but you had best start getting ready. Next month we'll be here before you know it. I'm really here. This is really happening. And you're going to do great. Everyone get in close. I want to make sure we can see that banner in the background. Mom, not in front of everyone. You're going to have to humor your mom on this one, Scott. There's no reasoning with her when she has a camera in her hand. Fine, but I don't have to like it. Maybe not, sweetie. But you're still going to fake it and smile anyway. But I look totally ridiculous when I smile. Uh, to be fair, you are totally ridiculous. <laughs> like all big brothers. Watch yourself, young lady. Everyone say cheese. cheese! Cheese! I don't mean to interrupt the photo shoot, but are you Scott Shepard? Um, yes, ma'am. I thought I recognized you. I'm Susan Gomez, community coordinator. Welcome to the TSC conference. We're so glad you could be here with us today. Thank you. It's a real honor. Now I'm guessing you two are the parents. Well, that's what it says on the birth certificate at any rate. <laughs> well, you've raised a fine young man. You should be very proud. We know, and we are. So by process of elimination, that must make you the sister. Debbie, isn't it? <laughs> that's me. Wonderful. Then if you'll all follow me, I'll show you to the conference room where Scott will be presenting. So, is this what you do for a living, Miss Gomez? You can call me Susan, and no, I work as a makeup artist. I'm here as a volunteer. The TSC community in the way we know it today didn't really exist when I was your age, so now I try to help as much as I can. I had never even heard of anyone else with TSC when I was your age, but luckily with TSC patient groups and social media today, TSC doesn't have to be such a lonely journey. Wait, you mean you have TSC? That's right, just like Scott. My symptoms are a little different, everyone's are, but we're both fighting the same battle each and every day. But enough about me, today is all about Scott Shepard, a name many of you probably already know since he practically lives on social media. He's one of the most active people in the TSC social media network, and he's traveled a long way to share his story with us. So let's give him a warm TSC community welcome. Um. Thank you, Susan, and, uh, hello everyone, I, <clears throat> I'm Scott Shepard, and I have TSC, and this is Turbo. Now, he doesn't say much, but he's a really great listener. <laughs> I know because he's had to listen to me since I was three years old, when my parents gave him to me for my birthday. When I c complained about my seizures, he would listen. When I was scared about going to a new doctor for the first time, he would listen. Whatever was going on in my life, Turbo would listen. 
but as good as a listener as Turbo was, he couldn't answer my questions or help me with um, managing my condition. For that, I had to turn to my family, my doctors, and uh, everyone in the TSC community. They've all been with me every step of the way. And so have my friends. I was teased a lot in school by the mean kids. They made fun of me for having weird bumps on my skin or for having trouble reading and keeping up in class and for just being different. But my friend Morris didn't see our differences. He only saw someone who liked running track and watching sci-fi movies and reading comic books just like he did. Morris didn't see my TSC. He just saw me. So many people, not to mention, uh, stuffed dogs, <laughs> have been there for me when I needed them. That's why I try to talk to as many people with TSC as I can, so that I can be there for others. I've been lucky with my TSC. Sometimes I have, um, difficulty reading, and sometimes it can take me a while for the answer to hit me when people ask me a question. But I get pretty good grades, and I plan to go to college and continue to be involved with the TSC community. Others have different symptoms and different challenges. I talk online with teens and adults from all around the world who have TSC. A lot of them have trouble talking to others and initially making friends. Some, like my friend from India, all also have problems with anxiety and um, depression and every day can feel like a struggle. And a, a girl my age I know from Missouri was just diagnosed with LAM, a uh, serious lung disease with a um, crazy long name <laughs> that mostly affects women. Luckily, she was getting tested and caught it early. But whatever our symptoms, we all have a um, lifetime of doctor visits and tests and scans and different treatments to look forward to. Because new symptoms can emerge at any time and uh, we have to be responsible for our own TSC management as we um, grow up. It can be tough sometimes to know that we'll always have to live with TSC and always monitor for new tumors, but we, uh, we don't have to do this by ourselves. There are family, friends, and the TSC community that are ready to help. My doctors I see at the TSC clinic have always been there for me and my family through every new symptom and test. It really helped me when I realized I wasn't alone, because we all need help sometimes, but it doesn't mean that we're helpless. Ways to manage TSC are um, getting better, and medical research is helping with new treatments too. We still have a long way to go, but we get a little bit closer every day. I'm Scott Shepard, and I have TSC. But it doesn't have me. That was the end. Thank you. Woohoo! Way to go, Scott! So, how did I do? It was beautiful, sweetie. Yeah, you nailed it. I couldn't have done it without the two of you. What did you think, Deb? Well, even I have to admit that it was pretty darn great. You know... That may be the nicest thing you've ever said to me. Well, don't get used to it or anything. I'd like to add my congratulations as well. You inspired a lot of people here today, Scott. I'm just glad I, um, made it all the way through without messing up. You did a lot more than that. Trust me, we plan to put this video up online so that anyone in the TSC community around the world can view it, especially if they couldn't make it here today. Speaking of the community, there's someone here I think you should meet. Scott, this is Dr. Bruno Moretti. He's another one of our presenters here at the conference. Pleased to meet you, Scott. I'm, um, pleased to meet you too, sir. 
I hope you enjoyed the presentation. I most certainly did. Though, I must admit to being a little upset with you. Why? I don't understand. Because you did such a good job that my speech sounds positively awful by comparison. And I'm gonna have to spend the entire night rewriting it. Well, that's a relief. So, what's your speech about? Maybe I can, um, give you some pointers. Maybe so. It's about the genetics behind TSC. You mentioned you were planning to attend university. I happen to work at one. And my department's always interested in talking to people with TSC about their experiences. Without understanding what it's like to have TSC, we couldn't do as good of a job with our research. I'm so glad you two were able to connect. Now, Dr. Moretti and I need to get going. He's supposed to be attending another panel that starts in five minutes. Goodbye, and enjoy the rest of the conference. Cheers. Goodbye. So nice to meet you. Yeah, um, goodbye. Mr. Shepard, may we please have a moment of your time? Uh, do you mean me or my dad? You, of course. We wanted to thank you. We came here from Singapore to learn more about TSC after our daughter was diagnosed. And your presentation, it spoke to us. And though she is too shy to say it, I believe it spoke to our little Ming Su as well. Oh, uh, um, okay. I, um, I guess I should say hello. Hi there. My name is Scott. It's nice to meet you. I'm sure you understand. She can be shy around new people. I bet she prefers speaking to her stuffed animal. I, uh, have some experience with that myself. I'm Scott's friend, Turbo. Uh, I'm a dog. What's your friend's name? Miss Whiskers is a good kitty. Miss Whiskers is an awesome name. Hey, do you want to be friends? Miss Whiskers is a good kitty. You're going to have to take the photo. I can't right now. I got it, hon. Video games. My place tonight. You in or you out? I'm in. But first, I have to check the, the TSC message boards. I know the drill. Go save the world, superhero. I'll see you later tonight. I I'm on it. And don't worry. I'll bring chips. Well, Turbo, if I'm a superhero, I guess that makes you my sidekick. Okay, okay. Partner, not sidekick. Now, let's get to it.